Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to set up a globe server on Geometry Dash. So, in this tutorial, we'll be split into three parts. The first part will talk about how to um, create a globe server, game server, and a central server on your computer, as well as port forwarding and stuff like that. The second part will be teaching you guys how to set up a globe server on Linux. And the third part of this tutorial will teach you guys how to set it up on your own Geometry Dash private server, so you can have globe on your own private server. So this will be the part one of the tutorial, and let's get started. So the first step will be to go to the GitHub, which will be linked in the description, like so. So you get Oh, so you get this um, open source talks about like clothing open source stuff like that. So second step will be go to the release and go to the latest version. And then next, um, you make sure you download the exe one, which is for the Windows. I will be covering the 64 or the ARM one as well um, in the next um, part of the tutorial. But for this tutorial, I will teach you guys how to set up the central and the game server. So be sure to download both of this and be sure to know where they are stored. So one will be the globe server, the gen, um, game server, and one will be the central server. So go to your download and you see the two files right here. Create a new folder and call it um, globe server, like so. Then you just drag and drop and put it into the globe server, like so. So you got all, so you got your globe server right here. Usually people just double click it if you want to do, but for, for, to make it easier for me, I'll be using a command uh, terminal to run. So if you want to like host a standalone server, like you just want your friends to join or like anyone in your house or LAN party to join, all you have to do is just run the game server. And to do that, it's just simply add globe, the like game server, then exe, and press enter. And there you go. You got the server launched right here. If you don't know what your um your I um IP of your computer, it's simply just it's simply just go to the console and type IP config. <laughs> and it will be show all the IPs or like connection into your computer. What we care about is what is your main um, switch, like mine is ethernet, and then the IP port address. This will be my private IP address. So copy that, go back to Geometry Dash, and click on this icon right here on the globe menu. Click that, and click on direct connect. This will say direct connection server address. All you have to do is copy and paste that, and then the port will be whatever port is set up. We go back to the uh, what is hosting the game server it's port 202 so enter port 202 and click connect and then click join and there you go you are successfully joining the game server you can see you can see the both connected in the console it says your username followed by your account id then the then the ip of the computer like the private ip as well as the port you can tell if you say login successfully but let's say if you want to like access an admin panel like if you want to moderate all your uh, other players or like want to customize the server stuff like that we can set up a central server for that and we want to bridge the game server to the central server so i'll teach you guys how to do that so leave the server press yes and that will leave the server you can just control c that it will leave it and then now once you get um once you're back to the um, console check um we're gonna run the central server now so we're gonna run the central server. So all you have to do with the central server is to globe central and exe, and then you have to put a port that you want to host it on. So on the on the GitHub page, if you go to the um, uh, host the server, it'll teach you how to host it on your central server. Uh, how to host? It'll teach you how to host it on the game server and then bridge it into your central. server. For central server, all you have to do is just do the same thing you did. But you can just um like like so you just do that. You can put it you can put a custom port if you want to. You can do 4202, but I'll just leave it as is. So it just runs the default 4201. That will be the central server port. It will be like this. And then now open another terminal. And now when you're in a globe um directory, now you're gonna run the globe game server. So copy paste all of this. Don't include the password, okay? Copy paste that and change this to your um, your private IP, your internal IP. Paste it right here, like so. So you might be asking, what is the password is for? So if you go back to your file um, explorer, you see the file called central config the JSON. Don't worry about these two files. The most important one is the JSON file. Right click and click on edit on notepad. 
So the most important part to bridge your server from your game server to the central server right here is the, co is the one called the game server password. This is important, by the way. So be sure to just delete the insecure and then click save. You can just change this also if you want to. But for this tutorial purposes, I just keep it as default. Then go, go to back to the command prompt and you see your game server, then the port you want for your game server, followed by the URL of your game server, I mean central server, I mean. And then all you have to do is just paste the um, game server password and press enter. You will see say retrieving config from the central server. And then server launch of 042. And there you go. Your server is now officially launched. Then you can tell if it's launched properly if you go to by copying this URL right here. Then go back to geometry dash, click this folder icon, add new, then you call your name, I call it local, and then put your server URL. Click create and then click play. Like so. You see it says server name, all over the nether, player. That's all changeable in here, right here. The central config on your central server. You can change the ID if you want to, or you can just delete this if you want to. You can name the server, you can add the address, you can add a region, wherever you like to. You click join. You have to say unauthorized, you have to do it again. So, and then click join. Like so. Now you're officially joining to your own um, central server. You can check if your game server is um, getting the login stuff like that, as well as the um, authentication key for your account, like so. I wanted to show both of your um, account there. If you want to access that panel, you have to do, do is press F8. You see admin login. Go to your central config. And you see the part that says admin key. Copy paste that, the, the admin key. And all you have to do is just paste it and then click login. You see it says successfully authorized. Click refresh and you see your icon right here. If you want to access individual players that is not in the game or, or in the globe server right now, all you have to do is press F8 in the keyboard. You see the globe admin panel. On mobile, all you have to do is go to settings, go to options, and then bring your bomb scarcity exactly 75 when you change. Alright, so, and you just find a button that says admin somewhere, but I'm not an Android, so it doesn't show for me. But if you don't know what that mod is, you just search up um, bomb scarcity by colon. All you have to do is just install that and then just do the same steps if you want to access it on mobile. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You got, um, you can set up like what your role is. You can change the role, like so. Refresh, refresh. You are now officially admin. You can um, do stuff like that. So the issue with this um, part is that no one can join your server besides anyone in your house. So for this part, I'm not. For this part, I'll be teaching you guys how to port forward your globe server, to, so everyone can join in your um, your server. It might be complicated, it might be different for different um, routers, but this is the, the basic part of my uh, basic part of the port forwarding. So go to your mo modem, and you usually see, for me it's DP link, you see virtual servers. This is where your, you expose your external I, um, port to the, um, to the internet if you want to expose them. And all you have to do, if you want to have your central server and your game server connected, all you have to do is just click add, and then change the service type. Um, just leave as AS. Um, the important part is the internal port. The internal port will be your um, what port you want to open. So once your um, your port forwarding to the server port you want to expose, so 421 to 4206, that's the port I want to open. Now, yeah, you need to know what your public IP is. So once you expose your port 4201 to 4206, for this purpose, I'm not going to show you my uh, my IP but once you get your public IP all you have to do is just leave this server and then change the local this is HTTP to your um to your public IP like so click that and then you click login and there you go you click join and you got joined to your globe server oh yeah be sure to change it on your central server so you see 12701 change that to your pu public IP like so and then click save and then it, it might require you to with um you start the um, game server so how we start it so up, up that run the central server and then run the um game server followed by the port you want to open followed by the url which you which you should actually change 
be your public IP like so and click enter and that will um, launch it we say retrieve with no errors servers launch like so and then there you go you are now connected to your globe server and you, and then other players can actually join to your server now so if you don't know how to port forwarding you can do tunneling or no dns stuff like that but that will be complicated i'm not over in this one. so yeah thank you guys for watching this um quick tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next um part of this tutorial about how to set up your bear on um, low server on linux Bye-bye.